안녕하세요. My name is Elise Hugh. I am the Seoul Bureau Chief for National Public Radio, or NPR. Now I'm back in the States and I'm trying the future. We don't want to have a pregnancy subplot without a payoff, so here she is. Today we are in Tokyo, Japan. We are in the neighborhood of Harajuku at the PyeongChang Winter Olympics, where we're going to teach you a really common Korean cheer. Annalise Hugh, she's the Asia correspondent for... For NPR and former NPR bureau chief for the Koreas and Japan. We wouldn't be here if North Korea was not at the point where they have nuclear weapons. Well, North Korea has said that it's committed to complete denuclearization, but it's not saying it's giving up its nuclear weapons right away, not by a long shot. Uh, this is definitely definitely unprecedented already because it's so historic for the U.S. president and a North Korean leader to meet. New promise with different players and hoping that it's a beginning of a shift for North Korea and U.S. relations. We are going to try something called core vacuuming. Uh. Raccoons! Let's do this! Oh yeah, I think she's getting my nose poured. I, I don't even know what just happened. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> okay, do I get it off me? Bundigi is silkworm. Hmm. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Crunchy? Salty? Those of y'all from the deep south, it tastes a lot like the shell of a boiled peanut. I actually have to control the exoskeleton with my mind. A lot of performance anxiety. <laughs> okay. Here's my tail. What's happening? You can't move your neck, you have a stiff neck. Oh. You're old. My chest is heavy, my limbs hurt. I don't feel like myself. If this is what aging feels like, I don't want to do it. Yeah, this is actually, uh, this is a, a real human brain. Oh my God. Hey David. I'm neuropriming. Transcranial direct stimulation device. Is it possible that this could keep our brains younger? I mean, does this affect longevity? This is already generating a lot of buzz. I just want to say that aging science is fast moving and super exciting. Put all sorts of filters on yourself. So it's kind of like the original Snapchat filter. I'm feeling really nervous. Get in there. How will we become superhuman? Stop uh, this reprogramming technology that we've discovered. Reprogramming our cells. Where do our biological bodies end and machines begin? And for me, the ultimate question is, who will we be? This has been an unusual day at work, but I have such a sense of accomplishment about it.